we are solving May June 2016 Cambridge International there are certificates of secondary education this is paper 4 question 1 Christian and Stephanie share some money in the ratio 3 is to 2. Christian receives $72. Work out how much Stephanie receives. You know, the amount Christian received plus that of Stephanie will give us the total amount. So we need to know how much was shared we can use christian's amount received to find that And this amount, when simplified, was equal to 72. So we have Now we can make the subject, total amount share the subject to obtain and when we simplify this, we are going to get get $120. So it means Stephanie's amount will be equal to 120 minus 72. And this will give us $48. This is one way of doing it. We can also use ratio, so method 2. You know Christian ratio corresponds to 3 and Stephanie corresponds to 2. Now we know Christian had 72 and that corresponds to 3. We don't know Stephanie's amount, but we know that it corresponds to 2. So by ratio, we know this is less than this. So if 72 corresponds to 3, then 2 corresponds to what? Will it be more or less? That will be less. So if less, more device. So we are comparing the 3 and the 2. Which one is more? It's the 3. So if less, more device. So this will be seventy-two dollars times two divided by three because it's supposed to be more because it's supposed to be less, more must divide, which is three dividing this. And when we simplify this, three will go into seventy-two twenty-four times. So Stephanie had 
48 dollars is another way of doing it stephanie had 48 dollars christian spends 45 percent of his 72 dollars on a computer game calculate the price of the computer game so price of computer game And we can rewrite this as we can rewrite this as this. Now we need to simplify this. So we know two will go here, thirty six times, and two will go here fifty. Then two can still go. Is 18 then 25 then we have 5 going to 25 5 times then 5 going here 9 times so we have 9 times 18 which will give us 162 over 5 so he the price of the computer game is thirty two point four dollars. Now I I I Christian also buys a meal for eight point four zero dollars calculate the fraction of the 72 christian has left after buying the computer game and the meal so total money spent So the total money spent is 8.40 dollars plus 32.4 dollars and when we add this we get 40.8 dollars so this is the total money spent so the money left So the total money left will be $31.2 dollars, that is 72 minus 40.8, this is the total money left. Now we are supposed to calculate the fraction of the 72 Christian has left, so we express this as a fraction of 72. Now 31.2 dollars as a fraction of 72 will be equal to Now this will be equal to so you multiply both the numerator and the numerator by 10 to get this. Now 8 will go here 13 times and 8 will go here 30 times. Now Ivy, Stephanie buys a book in a sale for $19.2. This sale price is after a reduction of 20%. Calculate the original price of the book. So we have so many ways of doing it. One way is to use ratio. So let's use ratio over here. We know original price. So original price corresponds to 100% and reduced sale price corresponds to 100 minus 20 
percent which is got 80 percent now by ratio we know that now we know that the reduced sales price was 19.20 So now if less more device and if more less device. So we now we are looking for the original price which corresponds to 100 percent and this corresponds to 80 percent. So we know that the original price will be more. So if more then less will divide. So the less of 100 percent and 80 percent is 80 percent. Therefore So we have this, and we can simplify this further. So this will simplify further to so this will give us 19.20 divided by 80. And when we simplify this, we get Simplify this, we get $24. So the original price of the book was $24. We can also let X be the original price. Now, this is the original price, then 20% of x is 0.2x. Now we can subtract this price from this original price and get the new price, which is 19.20, and that is the reduced price. So now we solve this equation for x to obtain Now we can simplify this further to obtain So here is another way of doing it. Now let's move on to the B aspect. Boys invest $550 at a rate of 2% per year simple interest. Calculate the amount Boris has after 10 years. So the B aspect. You know the amount is equal to principal plus the simple interest. So we need to calculate the we know the principal to be five fifty dollars. We don't know the simple interest, so we need to calculate the simple interest. So this is the formula for calculating the simple interest. Principal times time times the rate present or times rate over 100. So we know the principal, we know the time, we know the rate. So let's substitute into this formula. So we can simplify this. 
Can we go here 10 times? Can we go here 55? So 55 times 2 will give us 110. So the simple interest is $110 for the 10 good years. So now the amount becomes So the amount becomes six hundred and sixty dollars for the ten years. Now the C aspect. Marlin invest five hundred and fifty dollars at a rate of one point nine percent per year compound interest. Calculate the amount Marlin has after ten years. So. For the compound interest, we have a formula. You know the amount. So here's the formula for calculating this compound interest. Principal times one plus all into bracket. The rate present exponent t, where t is the time. So we just substitute these values 550, 1.9, and 10. So we can simplify this further to obtain. So, when you simplify everything, you obtain this as the compound interest for the 10 years. Now, the complete solution to this paper is available in PDF format and a video format on my online store. You can click the link below. In a video description in order to visit my store. Now the D aspect. Hans invests five hundred and fifty dollars at the rate of X percent per year compound interest. At the end of ten years, he has a total amount of six hundred thirty eight point three zero dollars correct to the nearest cent. Find the value of x. So, you know the compound interest formula already. So, if you plug in everything into this formula, the amount is supposed to be. $638.30 so we know the amount we know the year it is 10 we know the rate to be x present you just have to do everything here so we are going to get something like this so this is an equation in x that we need to solve for x Dividing through by five fifty dollars, we get now this will further give us so now we take the ten roots of this. So we are solving for x in the tenth root of this. So 
So you value this to the calculator to obtain something like this. So you have evaluate this, we get this over there. So we are looking for x. So this is a constant, this is a constant in group like terms. So this will give us 0 0.015. Now we can, we know that this is the same as x over 100. So we multiply through by 100 to obtain this. So x is approximately 1.5, but it's a rate. We are on question two now. So as usual, the full solution to the question is available in PDF and video format. So check the video description below, then click the link to take you to my online shop where you can access the complete solution. Now question 2a. Draw the image of triangle T after a translation by the vector 5 negative 2. So here is triangle T and we are translating it by the vector 5 negative 2. So this is what we do. We pick this point. So we move 5 units on the x axis by the 5 components of the vector. And the x component of the vector is 5 units. So we move 5 units. So we have 1, 2, 3, Four, five. That is a positive x direction. Then we are here now. We move negative two units. Or we move two units in the negative y direction. So this is the. We have one and we have two. We are here. So when we translate this, we are here. So that is we have one, two, three, four, five. Then one, two. So 4 negative 4 is our new translated point. Then we repeat the same process. We start here. We move 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we move 2 units down. 1, 2. So we are here. That is 2, negative 3, 2, negative 4. Then for the last one, we move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We move 2 unit down, 1, 2. So we are here. That is 2, negative 5. So we now draw a line connecting all the points we have an image of triangle T now draw the image of T after refraction in the line Y for one. we want to draw the image of this triangle in the uh, refraction of the line Y for one. so we take these points then we find the image points now to find the image point of this you know the image point is the same distance from the mirror line as the object point so we have one two three over here so we count the same unit up so one two three over here 
So that will be 4, negative 3. That's negative 3, 4. Then for this one, we repeat the same thing. So 1, 2, 3 over here. So we have 1, 2, 3 over here. And that is negative 1, 4. And then for this one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 over here. So we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4 over here. So that is 5. That's negative 3, 5. So this is the image of T and then the refraction in a line y equal 1. Now describe fully the single transformation that maps T onto triangle Q. So Now, comparing T and Q, you can see that this is an alignment because there is a change in the size of the object. It's a change in size. Now, we need to describe this alignment so we can compare corresponding size. So, comparing this side to this side, you can see that this is 1, 2 units, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is twice this, and alignment by a scale factor of, this is twice this, a scale factor of 3. So this is 1 unit, 1, 2, 3, and this. So you can say that this is an alignment of a scale factor of 3. So let's say we should describe fully. So we need to find the center of enlargement also. So that is very simple to do. This is how we do it. We locate any two corresponding, any two pairs of corresponding connects and draw a straight line through them. Whatever they intersect, that will be the center. So this pair of corners correspond to this pair of corners so drawing a straight line through them will meet at this point which tells us that this is the center of enlargement that is negative 6 negative 5 we can also approach it in a different way so for the first one, they say draw the image of triangle T after a transition by the vector, blah, blah, blah. You can first find the mapping. So we know the coordinate of this point is negative 1, negative 2. Now if we translate this by the vector 5, negative 2, then we are adding 5 to the x coordinate at 5 plus negative 4 will give us negative 4. And negative 2 plus negative 2 give us negative 4 again. So using that approach, we obtain these coordinates for the image triangle, then plotting them. Plotting them will give us these points and we join them. So that is one way of approaching the first part also. Then draw the image of triangle T after refraction in the line y equal 1. That one too, we can also approach it in a different way. For this time, the mapping is going to be the mapping is going to be like this.
2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 give us 4 and this also give us negative 3 so we are repeating all the first coordinates that is the x values and we are using this formula to calculate for the y so for the last one here we have 2 times 1 which is 1 minus minus 3 which is 5 so the y is these values so for this one we have 2 times 1 which is 2 minus minus 2 which is 2 plus 2 which is 4 that is how we calculate for this so this is the alternative way of going about it